can do screen recording so you can do your gameplays straight onto YouTube live streaming interact with your audience via the chat okay Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I wanna show you how you can live stream your iPad screen recording straight to YouTube. Okay, so let's start this tutorial. Let me show you what I want you to do. What you wanna get here is you wanna get Streamlabs. Okay, you can download Streamlabs for free. So if you go to the App Store and you just quickly type in Streamlabs, Okay, it's a free download. In fact, the whole live streaming situation is completely free, okay? You don't need to pay for anything. So go ahead and download a Streamlabs, Streamlabs, a live streaming application. Go ahead and download that. Start Streamlabs. It's gonna ask you to sign in to one of your platforms, okay? Either Twitch uh, or Facebook or YouTube or whatever. So now I've downloaded the application, I've signed in. I'm gonna go ahead and go live, okay? This is live streaming. So let me go ahead and live stream. Now it tells me what platform do I wanna use to select a platform. I'm gonna go ahead and select a YouTube because that's where I've signed in. Now there's three options that you have. You can do an active event, you can do an upcoming event, or you can create an event. Now the thing is, if you don't have any active events, it's just gonna give you an error message. Oh, there's no active events that are found. You know, that's normal because you don't have any events there anyway. If you have an upcoming, now I think I've scheduled two upcoming events. Yeah, I've got two upcoming events. I've scheduled them. So I have an option to select one of these. Now you don't need to worry about that. 99% of the time, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna create an event, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and broadcast immediately by creating an event. So I'm gonna go ahead and say create an event. When you create an event, you need to give it a title. So here, maybe I'll give it a title and call it, I don't know, YouTube Stream Test. The description's not important, but what I'm gonna be showing you here is how to um, iPad screen share, okay? iPad screen share. Now, who has access to this? You can do it public, so everyone sees it. Anyone who's anyone can see this, or you can do it private, or you can do it unlisted. Now I usually do it unlisted. Uh, another thing as well, if I come out of this very quickly, you can do the live chat, okay? So if you want the live chat enabled or you don't want it enabled. Now, if you're going on YouTube and you're doing a lesson or something, you do want your participants to um, interact with that video, then keep the live chat on, okay? And of course, you can mute or unmute yourself. If you're making a video, most likely you're gonna have the microphone on, okay? So, and of course you can switch between the front and back camera. I mean, this is simple. If I go live now, like this, look, if I just go live, oh, I'll need to go ahead and select my YouTube and then create an event. And I'm gonna, what do I call this? YouTube um, stream, <laughs> stream, <laughs> stream share, okay? I can even say they're live. So, I don't wanna go public, I wanna do it. Unlisted and press done. Now I can go live. So here we are. You see at the top, this is a live counter now. So look, it's been three seconds. So make sure you've got a good internet connection. This is now streaming live. How do I know that? Well, if I go to my YouTube studio and under my channel, under my channel, if I go to the live tab over here, I can see, look, YouTube Stream Share Live is actually streaming right now. If I click on this edit button, I can go ahead and I can select the link and, and share that with whoever I wanna share it with, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and share that with my participants so they can watch the live stream. And at the same time, they're watching the live stream, they can uh, interact with the chat as well. So that's live, by the way, right now. Okay, this is my live stream. As long as I'm on Streamlabs, okay, maybe I'm doing a few star jumps, okay? Maybe I'm, I'm over here and I'm gonna be doing PE lesson, I'm doing star jumps, okay? Or maybe it's, uh, I don't know, it's role play or maybe it's, uh, you know, a boxing class or something. I don't know what it's gonna be, but this is live. Now, just make sure you have a good uh, connection, okay, a good stream and, and you should be set to go. So how do we do the live stream of um, the, our gameplay, for example? What you need to do, you need to go to settings and you need to go down to control center, all right? Go down to control center. One underneath general is a control center. And under control center, under your customized controls, your more controls, you would have screen recording here. Now I've already got a screen recording, it's on the top, okay? If I were to delete that, if I were to remove it, down here I can find a screen recording. 
So click on the screen recording, that brings it in the control center. What's the control center? Well, the control center is this. You know when you pull down from here? That's your control center, isn't it? The way you do it to screen record directly to YouTube, like a live stream through Streamlabs, is like this, the following. So go back to Streamlabs, and now click on uh, these two lines, okay, the settings or whatever, and do screen capture. Now from screen capture, select your platform. We're gonna go back to YouTube, and then go to create an event, okay? Remember what I said, 99% of the time, you're gonna be creating an event. So create an event, let's call this tutorial green share gameplay, okay, live. Um, and then I'm gonna make this public, private or unlisted. I'm gonna go do it unlisted. Let's go press save on this. Now let's go live. Uh, choose our platform, it's an upcoming event. It's tutorial screen share gameplay live. Press on next press on done and go live. Okay, so now we are, give it a second and we are live. Now what you can do is go into your control center, long press, okay, your screen recording. Make sure you select screen labs. It would normally be like on photo. So make sure you select screen labs and your mic is on and then start the broadcast. So let's go ahead and start the broadcast. Okay, here we go. So we are now streaming live and we can now, do our lesson, do whatever we need to do, okay? Um, you know, use your Apple Pencil, this is the live lesson. You're demonstrating a concept that you're teaching your students or whatever. You can also do your gameplay, play, yeah? So you can do live gameplay. Uh, you know, you've had enough of your lesson, you're coming in here and you're doing your live gameplay. Now, audio is recorded, your audio is recorded, the game audio is recorded. Oh, look, there's dummy three. <laughs> he's just sitting around, I think he's transmitting something. Uh, So let's go and do a task or something. What do I need to do? Where am I going? Here we are, let's do, what's this? We need to put a number in. What number are we putting in? Bad. What, what's the number? Oh, here it is. Ooh, 38583. Some of you thinking like, what are you doing, dude? Task complete, woo, okay. So, let me go back to Streamlabs here, and what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and stop. And it's gonna give you an option, finish event, keep event, or cancel. I wanna finish that event, and I can stop my broadcast. So that is done. If I go back to YouTube, I can show you uh, the screen capture, okay, and the gameplay. So let's go back to YouTube here. So we've got this gameplay. Let's go ahead and watch this on YouTube. It started off with the camera. I could have it, the front facing camera, and I could be, uh, you know, interacting with my audience. And remember, this is a live stream anyway, and then we'll go straight into the gameplay. So let this carry on, okay? I remember I was doing my math lesson, so I'm sharing a math lesson, or whatever it was. I had enough of that. I want you to go onto the gameplay. Let's put this volume up. You see, so, so this is brilliant. Straight onto YouTube, live streaming, interact with your audience via the chat, okay? Hey, thanks for watching. If you found that helpful, give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna be doing part two, where not only are you screen recording your gameplay straight to YouTube, but you also have an option to do a face cam. So I'm gonna show you how you can get a face cam in your gameplay, live stream to YouTube or Twitch, okay? Twitch TV or Facebook Live. Um, as always, I'll see you in the next one.